All right, I'm on hole number one of the third anniversary tournament. I'm in my 77 account, so I'm in my main Ricky account. And I've practiced in my low-level account. I've practiced in my uh, practice account. So now it's time to go out there and try and pick a side and uh, try and put it together and see what it looks like. Make sure that the second club and the shots that I want to take, I'm not really working off of any notes today. I'm still practicing on this hole. There are several of the par threes and I'm still practicing on. I know the shot from over here, um, like the back of my hand. I've taken the shot about a billion times and it'll get you close to the cup, make your putt, move on down the road. But I'm trying to rough bump here and I am not going to add on the 10%. So I hit it with an apocalypse. I'm at minimum club. I did two per ring. That's a 25% increase at minimum club. So it goes from 1.6, 25% of that would be 0.4. So at two per ring, that's a 25% increase. And I tagged it. I mean, I was like on the on it and then up. And I hit it once here where I did the 10% and I ended up in the sand. And the wind's blowing in this direction. So that was an over pull. So then I came back here again and I did it. And I didn't take out the wind, but I hit a... I, I might as well hit a good to the right and ended up clipping the fairway here and went for a wild ride and ended up back here in the back. So I'm going to do this again. <clears throat> I'm not going to do any wind. I'm going to do a, just a standard wind adjustment at minimum club. And I believe this was with my sniper. If I remember correctly, I got a sniper in more than one bag. Take my number one bag. And I'm going to bring a katana just to cut the wind down a little bit. Let's think here. I think I'm right about in the same distance I've been at when I'm up in this shot. I'm forward just a little bit of that. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring a katana. That's the ball I've been using here. And we'll see what, uh, what kind of results that I get. So my sniper at minimum club should be, with my woods, it should be around 1.5 per ring, 1.4, somewhere in that neighborhood. So I'm just going to do a regular adjustment. I'm going to do 1.4 because of the way the wind's blowing. Let me think. I'm going to do a 1.4, 1.4 per ring. All right, here we go. Here we go. The, the area down here to do this rough bump is so narrow that it's like a third. And you look at how it's going through this center ring here. If the wind was blowing to the left or the right, this rough bump would be a much more viable deal. But with this kind of wind, we I have to figure out like how the wind's affecting the ball. Whatever the setup is for this shot with this wind, it'll be different if you're doing a side wind or if you have a headwind. That's a pretty big wind right there. So with a white ball, it's a pure six wind. I'm not sure what that katana cuts it down, 25% or so. So it was six. Somewhere in the four or five or lower. One point four per ring. And actually, I'm probably at the one per ring. I'm just going to do one per ring because I think I'm I'm in my. I was thinking I was going to be in my driver if I brought a zero power ball, and I'm actually with a bigger ball. I should be in my wood. No, I'm still in my driver. Let's see here. Let's bring a rock. I guess we got a 100% accurate club. It's going to be 1.25 per ring. Let's get out here where I can see what's going on. Just dial it up to the cup. Right on the outside edge. Go right at it. It's 1.4. There's 3.42. A little. 
and I can't do it. Not going to be able to do that shot from here. I'm going to have to switch balls. So let's think, what would I do? I could switch to a zero power ball, and that'll put me up in the zone. A one power ball right there. I, I could probably bring out a navigator and hit it with my rock. Or I could bring out a bigger power ball and try and hit it with my sniper. And a marlin. Okay, I got plenty of room with my marlin. Let's bring out a navigator. I got plenty of room with my navigator. Go right at the cup. So I'm in minimum club, so it's 1.5. About a ring and a half. Let's see if we can get this wind adjustment right. Hit it great to the right. Still back in the sand, so that was an over pull. And that's the second time I've over pulled that shot. Hey, good luck in the tournament. So let me think about how that wind went. So the wind's going in this direction. Here's our little teeny spigot of rough. I'm in the center of it. I went 1.5 per ring. 1.4. So two rings was 2.8. I think it was like a 3.5. So that's 7. 1.4 per ring. That was about a half. So I think I went three and a half rings. And that was an over pull into the sand. Even if I would have been 1.5 rings, that would have been right at three. I still would have ended up in the sand. I think the only way to really do that is to bring a super low wind ball so that you don't have to engage the sand. And you can start to dial that in a little bit more. But anytime you have to pull your, your ball guide over the sand to work out wind, it gets affected differently. And it's almost one of those deals where you need to make your adjustment and then push it forward one ring. I'm going to try that. I'll try that one more time in the, in the qualifying round and see it in, in tomorrow. I'll practice one more time with my odd out account and I'll play that shot and I'll do that where I'll, and there are several other holes in this game where I can think of where you do the same thing. You'd pull out the wind like you normally would, and then you put one ring back into it. Because you have to, there's an adjustment for that sand. All right, I'll try that tomorrow. And I am learning, I'm learning what I want to learn. And what I want to learn on that hole is, is that there is a rough bump, but it is super dangerous. And you got to absolutely have your numbers right. <laughs> That's what I'm learning. All right, that was hole number one. Thanks for watching.